Hi Virgo, welcome to your Love Connection reading for June. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. This is intended for Virgos wondering about a love connection. So you can be single, you can be together, but you do have to at least know each other and believe there's a connection between you. So it doesn't matter what your situation is. Hopefully we'll get something here that'll resonate for you. If you are single and wondering about new love, I do have new love readings on my channel for singles wondering about who's coming towards them. So feel free to go check those out. Links are below in the description box for your playlist and you'll find it under the love playlist. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or, fem male, not, <laughs> male or female. It's a general collective reading, not a private reading, but if you would like a private reading, all that information is down below. Please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. You know, all of it may not be for you, so please do, good, please do keep that in mind if I could speak tonight. And... Um, it could be past, present, or future. Please keep that in mind. You can switch the energies around. Um, you know, usually everybody knows how tarot works. So we're going to see what we get here. So this is the Zodiac Oracle. So I always pull one of these first so we could get a sign, element, or planet. And then I have the Magdalene deck here. So we'll get an opening energy between you and your person about your love connection. And then I'll pull one for you, one for them, how you're feeling about each other and the connection, one for the mutual connection. Clarify all that energy with the tarot. Then look at the actual situation, advice, guidance, possible outcome. Go over the bottom of the deck, and then I pick some extra uh, messages here from the angel answers. So, that being said, and there's also a lot of other information down in the description box, so please feel free to check that out. And if you're new, um, if you'd like to subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss out. We get about four or five uh, readings a month, and they're all different. So you can check out my channel for us, you know, and you like what you see. And if you do, thank you, and welcome to the family. So, Virgo, hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So, let's see what we have for Virgo at this time. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective. And if it's not your story, it's not resonating, please don't try to make it fit. It's probably not your story this time. You can check other signs in your chart, or hold out for the next reading, or watch past readings. I do consider them all timeless. All right, so only take what resonates for you. Virgo, what do we have for Virgo in love at this time for Virgo? All right, Let's see what we have. We have Taurus, so you could be dealing with a fellow Earth sign, a Taurus. The Taurus, though, does, it could be Sun, uh, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If not, totally fine. Taurus does represent the Hierophant in the Tarot, which is about commitments, marriage. It's about faith, spirituality, religion, doing what's moral, just and right. It can be about higher learnings, uh, higher levels of education, commitment, um, you know, things of the institutional, like, uh, you know, law, authority, government, education, all that kind of stuff. So see how that plays into your reading. All right. And the Empress always uh, represents Taurus, too. Well, it represents Libra and Taurus, but, you know, the Empress is all about the birth of new things. It's about value, worth, um, growth, expansion. So it's a nurturing kind of energy also. So let's see how that plays into your reading. So what we're going to do here is get an opening energy for you, whoever you're thinking about at this time for this reading, for Virgo, please. Someone rising Venus, male or female. Let's get an opening energy. Wow. <laughs> the most one like flying into the next room practically. <laughs> For Virgo. Virgo, someone rising in Venus. Jaro collective, male or female. For the person they're asking about, inquiring about for this reading. What is the opening energy? We have miracles. So you could expect a miracle in this connection. Is it going to be a miracle? This person may offer some sort of commitment or higher, le higher levels of commitment or even marriage. Are you thinking it would be a miracle? Well, saying here, miracles do happen. Expect a miracle in some way, shape, or form. And you see the kind of like, almost like the cross there. So, hey, you got the tree there which does uh, represent like that earth energy and the sun peeking through. 
an, an eye for enlightenment. All right, so let's get one for you, one for them, how you both feel about each other in the connection, and then one for the mutual. I'm going to put you on this side, Virgo, your person on that side. If at any time you feel like the energies need to be switched, please feel free to do that. All right, one for Virgo. Okay, well, I got two there. I want one for Virgo. <clears throat> how is Virgo feeling about their person in this connection spirit, please? For the collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male and female. Well, okay, I think I'm going to take that one. I just had a whole bunch fly out. Okay, one for Virgo's person. How are they feeling about Virgo in the connection? Please, spirit, thank you so much. How does per Virgo's person feel about them in the connection? Okay, we've got that one. I'm going to take the bottom for the mutual energy. Let's see what we have for you, Virgo. So for you, we have War and Peace. And I got this for... Oh, I got this for another sign. I don't remember which one, but in the same exact position right here. Uh, let's see. I think it was Aquarius. Anyway, that may not mean anything. But anyway, War and Peace for you. So... It could be, uh, you know, maybe it's been like war with this person to get them to commit or get them to higher levels of commitment or something like that. So it could be a battle or a struggle or a fight here with your person. And let's see what they have. The resurrection. So this is about <laughs> rebirth, rejuvenation, transformation, transcendence, rising back up. This person may resurface here now wanting peace now and wanting to commit in some way, shape, or form. And you're like, what? This is a miracle. We got the crosses here under your energy again. So what do we have? Family. So you could have a family uh, connecting the two of you. You could have children connecting the two of you. Um, that's what probably what's connecting you together. If there is family, children... And you're like, you know, we should be married, we should be living together, we should be committed, or whatever. Um, and it's been like war with this person because of that. Uh, they may be returning here and may be stepping up to the plate and uh, doing what's moral, just, and right. Especially with that Taurus card, if it speaks of the Hierophant. Wow. So let's see. I feel like they're finally going to step up to the plate and do what's right. But we'll see. Let's see. Let's see. Or if there isn't any children, you know, maybe some here, you know, you want to settle down, you want to get married, or just at least live together, be committed, start a family in some way, shape, or form. Oops. Those cards on the floor. Hold on. All right. Okay. All right, let's continue. Sorry about that. All right, so let's see. Let's see what's going on for you, Virgo. Let's get two for each card to clarify your energy, their energy, and the mutual energy. Here for you, Virgo. Two for Virgo, two for their person. Let's get two for Virgo. One, one more. Two for the connect. Uh, two for your person, actually. Oh, that's three. Two for the person. Two for Virgo's person, and two for the mutual connection. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. One. Oh, that's that one. Okay. Let's see what we have for you, Virgo. So we have the four pentacles. Oh my God! Here's the hierophant. So that's confirming what I was feeling and thinking and seeing. So I feel like, you know, the Four of Pentacles can talk about withdrawing your energy, holding back, or wanting to hold on and not let go of this person. So I feel for some of you, you know, you definitely want higher levels of commitment in some way, shape, or form. We've got Taurus now uh, coming here uh, with this person. You definitely want that. I think you're tired of them holding back from this connection also. 
And it could be even financially, it could be, you know, support, it could be anything here. I think you're, you know, you want some form of higher levels of morality from them, I'm getting also. So let's see what they have. They have the moon and the king of wands. So, you know, the moon can speak of, you know, very deep feelings. It can talk about fear, um, secrets coming to light cycles but we do have the king of wands here which could be sagittarius but it doesn't have to be if i mention their sign you know that's that's okay but uh does it really matter but i know everybody likes the signs so we do have sagittarius and pisces so the moon is feminine energy so they definitely could see you as their feminine but they could be you know being very secretive about how they feel about you know what they truly want but they could also have very deep feelings also, and that's why we could see a resurrection here. Coming back very uh, fiery, passionate. This is almost like an emperor kind of energy almost. But the king of wands goes after what they want with a lot of drive, ambition, and passion. So, and I see a lot of fire energy in this resurrection card. So I feel like now they're coming back. They're coming back kind of like to do the right thing. You know, and they may be scared, you know, not seeing the path clearly here. That can, you know, the moon can speak of fear. Then this reminds me of the sun. So it's like the sun enlightens once, you know, daylight comes. So the mutual energy here, we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Wow. So the Ten of Cups is that happy home and family. So definitely you could have children with this uh, person. But the Knight of Pentacles, so that's what I felt. Finally coming in, you know, slow and steady progress. Coming in is the night, and this is Taurus again. That is just crazy. So somebody here definitely could be dealing heavily with the Taurus. So this Taurus is finally coming in, doing the right thing, doing what the smart, practical, wise thing is to do, and offering a happy resolution here with full completion of the Ten of Cups of happy home and family. Now wanting to have that, to make this a happy home and family. Could be coming in, you know, with an offer. Could be, you know, engagement or... Whatever here, but now wanting to have this Ten of Cups in the situation. Wow. So let's see. We can get more, more here for you, Virgo, and the situation. What else for Virgo and their situation here? So we have the Hermit in reverse. Hmm. I don't even know how they got reversed, but it is reversed. So that's Virgo, that's your energy. So you're, you know, you're ready to, I, I don't know, just got, like come out of hiding. I don't know, were you hiding from this person? Or maybe you weren't like answering their calls or maybe you weren't, you know, answering the texts or something like that. Just kind of keeping your energy from them because they weren't stepping up to the plate yet, <clears throat> yet you wanted it. But it's like maybe you withdraw your energy, you withdrew your energy because they weren't giving you what you wanted. But now I feel like you're ready uh, to come out of that energy. It's like you definitely know the hermit knows goes in and they do that deep soul searching work. So it's like you already know what you want. You've already thought about it. You've already went on that journey. You deep down you already know exactly what you want. The Ace of Pentacles, yeah. You want this you want this stable new beginning. There's the offer and there's the knight actually coming in with that offer. And that's what you want. You want this stable new beginning for the long term. Happy home and family. Stable family. Legacy. Growth expansion for the future. Now we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. So, you may be holding back your passion from them also. <laughs> you know, because of this situation. But, you know, the Queen of Wands can be Aries, but it doesn't have to be. King or Queen. So, you know, the Queen of Wands, and we got the matching couple here, King and Queen. So, but you're in, but this energy is in reverse. So somebody's in reverse here. But I feel like they're coming back because this is reverse where things went down, but now upright coming back, that's at resurrection. So this person that was not doing the right thing now has reversed themselves and coming back, resurrecting themselves and coming back to do the right thing. You know, uh, and again, that... Holding back passion, I feel like here, especially the hermit in reverse. Um, 
or you were, somebody was holding back their passion until this offer came in. And I feel like it's on its way. What else here? The Two of Swords. So somebody making a tough decision here on this. Coming up kind of on their side. So, you know, they might have thought long and hard about this. You know, what do I do in this situation? I know I need to do the right thing. But what do I do? And then King of Swords. Having Gemini energy doesn't have to be. So having total mental clarity. And knowing exactly what they need to do. Coming in with open, honest, truthful communication. Um, I don't think you're dealing with two people. I think they're just embodying this energy. All right, so let's see. Let's get one more. The devil toxic energy here. So I feel like this King of Swords has taken their, made the decision to take their sword here and cut out this devil-like energy, this in and out energy, this energy of not being the person they should be. If it's being, you know, present in this family dynamic, uh, realizing they need to do the right thing and cut out this uh, toxic energy, making that conscious decision to do so. Because you see the king of swords has his back to the devil. So they know now they have to leave that energy behind and come in and do what's moral, just, and right. They, for some reason, it could have been a hard decision for them. Maybe they were afraid, you know, you... Because we did the moon there, so maybe they were afraid you would reject them. And maybe it's taken too long, because we did have the night. It's a very slow-moving energy. But there's the new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles. So let's get advice or guidance for you. Advice, guidance for you, Virgo. What do we have here? So we have the Knight of Cups, upright. What else? Ten of Wands. Ace of Wands. So now we got two Aces. Three of Swords. And one more. And the Eight of Swords in reverse. So... So I feel like here the Knight of Cups is coming forward. Uh, we've got two Knights here. So not only are they coming forward with something stable, but their love, their emotions, their heart on their sleeve. Uh, they know how much they've hurt you with this Three of Swords energy. You know, I feel like they were once mentally blocked, but now they're coming out of that energy. And we have, you know, laying down heavy burdens here for a brand new beginning because 10 equals one, you know, one, zero, one. So then we got the 10 to the one, which is that fiery passion new beginning between two. So just know here that if this isn't, hasn't happened yet, you know, and you, you feel like you're in that energy of having that broken heart, like then I'm going to step up to the plate, being stuck in your head about this whole situation, thinking that it's just over, but wanting this to come back forward, you know, there is love here. But I do see, you know, taking that conscious effort forward with stability and love. And you can lay down the heavy burdens in your mind and come out of that mental entrapment and that hurt, that there is that fiery passion in the beginning here that will be very stable between two. As you see the family of foxes here again. So family coming back together here. So let's see what the possible outcome can be here. Nine of Cups, so there you go. Wish fulfillment, happiness of joy. Four of Wands, so there you go. Commitment, marriage, ceremony, celebrations, stability. That's my Twin Flame card. Queen of Pentacles. So knowing your value, your worth, um, kind of energy. So the Knight of Cups here can be uh, Scorpio, doesn't have to be. The Queen of Pentacles here is Capricorn, doesn't have to be. But did we have the King? No, we have the Knight. So... Yeah, king or queen here. So just know, you know, things will be stable. There'll be growth, expansion. That to me is like the minor of the uh, empress. And I think I mentioned the empress. Yeah, with uh, Taurus does represent the empress too, Libra and Taurus. All right, one more for the possible outcome here. Five of swords. So 
No, that can be an energy, so, you know, you may be in the energy here of like, you know, well, maybe this is just a losing battle, you know, it's just is what it is and nothing's ever going to come more of this, you know, thinking, you know, it's over, it's done or whatever. I'm just going to give up. It's not worth it. It's a losing battle. Then all of a sudden here they come as a king or queen of pentacles, stable, grounded, ready to nurture, to give, to commit for the long term. And that's what we have here with the Four of Wands, which gives you happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Or vice versa, how will the energies work for you? I wouldn't give up just yet, even though maybe some of you have. So let's go over uh, some of the energies on the bottom of the deck. So we have the Three of Pentacles. So here we are working together, teamwork, collaboration, build, rebuilding slowly or building slowly. We have the Ace of Swords. So here's the Epiphany, Aha Moment. Divine clarity, divine intervention, victorious start, brand new beginning, open, honest communication. Five of cups. So yeah, there's been a little sadness, hurt over, you know, things of the past. And, you know, thinking there was endings here. But there's a past soulmate coming back with the six of cups energy. So there's your soulmate coming back, leveling up, doing the right thing, now committing to this family dynamic for the long term, which could lead to commitment or marriage. So once thinking it was done over and being heartbroken over that, cr truth, clarity, divine clarity here that the soulmate is returning to do what's moral, just, and right. To work on this for the future. Wow. Yeah, justice, Libra energy here. Getting justice, service, ju serving justice, balancing out the scales, truth and justice. So once what once was imbalanced here with the temperance energy now coming back as i said as the emperor so and i said this queen made me feel like the empress so now we have a divine couple they're taking lead taking charge they regain their balance their power coming back as this uh emperor and going to a much better place here together with the six of swords energy to peace balance and harmony wow so Let's see, so we had Aries here, uh, Sagittarius, Libra. So I see someone coming back, doing the right thing, leveling up. And if this is a family dynamic where there's children involved, this could lead to marriage, commitment, some way, shape, or form, or maybe just moving in together. But I do see like long-term stability now in this person. And it's like a miracle, probably something you thought would never, ever happen. But something happened here, so, and I know we're all in quarantine, so, you know, maybe once this quarantine is over, if, you know, you're apart from this person. All right, so let's get some extra messages for Virgo here. Extra messages for Virgo in this connection. Unlikely, yeah, I think you're thinking here, it's very, very unlikely this is going to happen. It would be a, be a friggin' miracle, <laughs> you're thinking. It's never going to happen. And then all of a sudden, boom, there's the resurrection. Perfect timing. All in divine timing. It's going to happen at the most perfect timing that you would never expect. So then we have a no. So let's see what that no is. I'm still getting like, no, you think it's just not going to happen. <laughs> and it does. All right, so... And I'm also getting with this perfect timing is they don't want to waste any more time either. So it's like, no, I'm not wasting any more time. I'm not waiting anymore. That's kind of what I'm getting also. What else here? Don't stop. Anything else? So we do have a year from now. It's been coming out a lot. So, and then we have yes at the bottom. So, I mean... Maybe it's been a year since all this happened, and that could be, you know, a year from that time. It could be within the year, or a year from a significant date of an, of an occurrence in this connection. That's what I get kind of with the year now card. I don't think it means, like, exactly a year from now, however that resonates for you. And a year's timing of something that might have happened before, um, within the year, within the end of this year, um... Something maybe might have happened at the end of last year. So how that resonates for you. Okay, uh, Virgo, uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.